What's good guys, it's Tyler back, GK Goal Remy. Today's video is gonna be a little differently since I wanted to explain the foundation and purpose of this channel. And the number one purpose of the channel is to make you all better keepers at no cost to yourself other than your time and effort. And I'll be doing this by passing on what I've learned throughout my professional career so far. And now I'm a firm believer in listening to those who have played at a higher level than yourself. So a lot of these techniques and drills I go over are taken from goalkeepers who I've personally played with or been coached by playing the MOS, Danish Superliga, Scottish Premiership, US Men's National Team, even the Serbian Super League. Now at age 26, I'm still adapting my game and constantly trying out these new techniques to see how they fit me personally. So I'm not just gonna be repeating the same thing over and over again in these videos but I'll be sharing new information with you guys as I learn it myself. I also wanna to touch on something that wasn't a factor in my early playing career and that's social media. Now social media can be a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it can allow you to access proper information that you otherwise would not be able to obtain, but it also makes it a lot more difficult to identify good information from bad information. And something to always keep in mind is that just because someone has a huge platform doesn't mean that they are passing on correct information. On Instagram, this is a huge issue where the majority of what you see are a ton of flashy saves and drills for full extension dives. And oftentimes the drills just have goalkeepers flying back and forth six or seven times, which just isn't how professional goalkeepers train because that's not gonna be the best use of your time and make you a better player. In a professional setting, most drills only have one to two actions. So this allows you to fully concentrate on your technique and positioning. And these drills also best replicate what situations you're going to find yourself in during actual games. So it's very rare that you're gonna be forced to make three saves in a row during the span of a few seconds, where it's extremely common only being called upon for one save and maybe a second one if you gave up a rebound. So why wouldn't you focus on the situations that you have a higher chance of being forced to deal with in a game setting? This is also why you shouldn't just be focusing on drills for diving, since diving is actually a very small percentage of what you will be doing in games. To really drive this point home for you guys, I'm going to show you some game highlights of my time when I was playing in Finland's top league. So through the course of these three games which I'm showing you, I didn't have a single full extension save. Everything I was doing was really just cutting down the angle, forcing the strikers to try to pick out a corner which either they would miss or hit them pretty much right at me and then just focusing on having safe hands to not give up a rebound for any easy chances. And also, when you guys play, you gotta make sure you're good with your feet, that you should be doing a ton of drills with your feet so you can play with the ball with your weak foot or with your strong foot. You gotta make sure that you know where you're gonna pass the ball before you even get it. Being able to pick out your teammates from 40, 50 yards, putting it on their chest, on their thigh so they can control it and you guys can keep possession. Creating counters. If that's staring off a attacker and then being able to play a ball behind the back, knowing how to properly throw the ball and being able to pick out the spot, put the ball in their front foot so they can turn up the field. And you guys have to be confident in the air. It's something a lot of keepers struggle with. It's one aspect of the game that I absolutely love. And once you get more confident with air, keep pushing your limits, seeing how far out you can come claim the ball. Because every time you claim it cleanly, it's going to take off a lot of pressure on your defense. It's going to be great for possible counters. And this will just lead into also knowing how to read the game, which you will only improve at by actually playing in games. You guys want to play in as many games as possible. It doesn't matter if it's just pick up, maybe a level that you think's below you. You can always find something to prove of when we're playing in games. For me personally, I always used to try to play as high off my line when I played at lower levels, and you can see it translates well then when I'm at the professional level. You can always find something to work on, always playing games when you have a chance. So like I said in the beginning, this channel is gonna be helping you guys improve all of these aspects of your game, which will make you all around better players. So make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, so you don't miss any of the content that we have coming up. Till next time, peace.